So initially, I was going to do a video that was sort of a direct message at Ryan, but since I made that video and put it in my drafts, uh, Ryan has since deleted his channel or revamped it. I'm kind of confused about that because now it looks like this, all the videos are gone, etc. But for this video, what I decided to do instead was talk about I think what Christians can do better and some of the things Christians can learn from Ryan and some of the things that have happened and some of the drama that's occurred. So if you don't know and you're seeing this on a different platform, Ryan Foley was a Christian evangelist as far as I can tell on TikTok. He had a massive following and he would go into places, public places, and try to preach the gospel, pray, things like that. Um, those attempts, though, were definitely met with some resistance, uh, not just because he was spreading the gospel or anything like that, but because he was disrupting the peace and a bunch of other things would typically happen. There was also some drama with him because he was struggling with sin, particularly LGBTQ related sin, and he got caught by a TikToker that was on here. So, but he was very open about it, very apologetic about it. But a lot of people theorized that he was internalizing some sort of hatred or disdain for himself uh, for being attracted to uh, the same sex and struggling in those kinds of areas because of some of the things he did at pride parades and so on and so forth. One of the things I think we really need to discuss in relation to Ryan is just how open should we be online? I think that's a really important thing because there were people both who support the LGBTQ community and people who don't who would weaponize his uh, struggle and issue uh, as a means to make fun of him and that sort of thing. And that isn't cool. But at the same time, should we commend him for being open and honest about his sins and how open should one be? Another thing to keep in mind is that you should evangelize in the right way. You need to evangelize in a way that will make people better listen to you. You know, do like Paul did when he became a Jew to the Jews, became a Gentile to the Gentiles, but became all to all so that he might save some. I don't think Ryan did that. It, that was the cause of a lot of the disturbances and even the arrest. There's many other things, but I'm actually thinking about making a YouTube video in relation to all of this. So stick around for updates on that.